Climeworks just announced their new Orca facility up in Iceland. They're able to pull 4,000 tons of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every year and store it underground in geologic storage. This is a glimpse into the future of carbon removal. It's scaling up from a lab to a prototype to a facility. It's really cool to see it happening as it happens. Climbwork started years ago out of a lab in Switzerland. I had a friend who got to visit and see their, you know, their initial prototype as it was just creating a few drops of carbon dioxide extracted from the air. And it's so cool to see something like that grow from a lab to a prototype to this facility. It's getting news coverage and headlines all around the world about this new place that can pull carbon directly from the atmosphere. It is so cool and huge congratulations to the Climeworks team on bringing this all together into reality. I'm also super excited because this is one part of the future. This doesn't solve all of the carbon removal problem all by itself. We need about a thousand Climeworks companies getting started to make that happen. I get really excited thinking about the next thousand Climeworkses. There's this great Sam Altman quote that I think it really applies to carbon removal today. He said, the question isn't, what will I be doing in 10 years? The question is, what will I wish I'd started 10 years from now? And looking through the air miners community and across the carbon removal industry, I'm seeing so many incredible things that are getting started right now. I'm seeing new startup companies come into air miners launchpad, seeing uh, women air miners start a mentoring group. I'm seeing a problem pack groups where a group of people gets together and, and works on a problem for three weeks. Across the board, seeing these, these new things starting and just thinking about that Climeworks Orca facility 10 years ago and just thinking about, gosh, there's just so many more people working on carbon removal. Back when Climeworks started, they were one of the very, very few organizations, the very few people that were talking about carbon removal. Today, there are dozens of us. Now, there's probably more like hundreds and maybe, maybe a couple thousand, but it's grown a lot from when it was just a handful of people. Today, there are hundreds of people that are starting new things, making experiments, whether it's in a lab or out in the field or it's in a warehouse somewhere, working on how to scale carbon removal. So for example, Air Miners Launchpad, we just kicked off the second batch of Launchpad companies this morning. It was incredible going through all the applications, interviewing teams. I just got so inspired hearing from entrepreneurs around the world who are, you know, working with, wrestling with, grappling with some concept about carbon removal. And they're all kind of at like an idea stage or they've gotten a, a prototype up and running and they're trying to figure out how to turn into a business. And it's just, again, those, those Climeworks vibes where I'm like thinking about this stuff, you know, how does this look in, in 10 years? What does it look like when we've got hundreds of people taking a shot on goal? Uh, and seeing that happen in Launchpad has been really inspiring. And we just kicked off the first session today uh, for, the, for the second batch of teams. Uh, really super exciting there. Gonna have some more, some more updates there about the first batch uh, and about how things are going uh, in, in the next update. But um, yeah, things are, things are really exciting there in terms of seeing new ideas getting, uh, getting traction and getting, getting people pushing behind them. The other thing that's taken off recently is the Women Air Miners Mentoring Group. This is a networking group for women air miners who want to get support or support others in starting their career, transitioning their career, starting a company. And I got to attend the, the first session, kind of the orientation for it. And it was just so cool to look around the room and, and, and think like, gosh, here's, here's the people who are gonna start the next Climeworks or the, the other thousand Climeworkses that we need to get created. Those leaders are, are right here. And that was really, really wonderful to see. Another thing I found really inspiring is a climate sprint group of air miners that have been working on mobilizing climate finance. Uh, they were using the model that John Sanchez put together called Climate Sprints Problem Packs. It's a three week uh, problem where you, you go through as, as a group uh, you work you work on uh, a, a problem around climate, around carbon. Uh, and this group was working on mobilizing climate finance and thinking about uh, how to do nutrition labels for carbon removal. 
I just loved how the team worked and they, they broke down the problem and they all kind of attacked it from these different different angles and came together and created something that's starting to look like a solution for carbon removal. And just, you know, thinking back over Launchpad and the Women Air Miners Mentoring Group and the, the, the Climate Sprint Group and just seeing all these all these thousand shots on goal getting started and just kind of playing forward to thinking about 10 years from now what kind of things are we are we creating as as possibilities and it's just it's so inspiring and exciting uh, and i'm really looking forward to the next six weeks as we work with these uh, launch pad companies look forward to seeing more from uh, the women air miners mentoring group I look forward to seeing more people jump onto, onto climate sprints and figure out how they can get started working on a problem. So this is what we mean by a thousand shots on goal. It's how do we systematize our ability to, to try and scale carbon removal solutions. It's not one big shot on goal. It's, you know, this machine pulls carbon from the air. And, and that machine is, a, is one that creates a thousand shots on goal. That's how I'm thinking about about air miners in this moment is how do we systematize these things? How do we structure these things? How do we help more companies get started in air miners launch pad? How do we help more women air miners get connected to the mentoring group? How do we get more people uh, taking a go at a climate sprint? How do we get to a thousand shots on goal is by, is by systematizing and scaling those, those connections and those resources. It's an opportunity for many people to make a change. It's an opportunity for many people to change a career, to start a company, to invent something new. And that's what I find so inspiring about this incredible achievement by the Climeworks team and their Orca facility and thinking about how do we continue to take a thousand shots on goal.